Ever wondered how doctors repair a torn Achilles tendon? Once that tendon snaps, your heel can barely lift, like a broken rubber band losing all its bounce. It's a great analogy, and honestly, this creator deserves way more views. So how exactly do surgeons reconnect it? Before surgery begins, the patient lies face down, and the leg is numbed with either general or regional anesthesia. Perfect explanation. Regional anesthesia, like a popliteal nerve block, is extremely common for this surgery. Then the surgeon makes a small incision along the back of the lower leg to reach the torn Achilles, the crucial power line that connects your calf muscles to your heel bone. Calling the Achilles the power line is spot on. It carries nearly all the force that lets you run and jump. The doctor carefully locates both ends of the injured tendon and trims away the frayed or damaged tissue. This part is exactly right. Trimming the degenerative fibers is essential. You need healthy collagen to anchor the sutures properly. Then, using strong surgical sutures, the two ends are stitched back together one by one. It's not just a simple tie. The stitches are done in a special cross pattern designed to hold tight and stay secure as the tendon heals. Yes, surgeons often use Krakow, Bonnell, or modified Kessler stitch patterns. They distribute tension along the tendon so it doesn't pull apart during early rehab. If the tendon is too badly damaged, the surgeon may take a small piece from another tendon to reinforce it. Exactly. The flexor hallucis longus tendon is the most common graft. This part of the video is impressively accurate. The creator genuinely knows the anatomy. 